fancy. Well, today, what's on the menu? I'm going to bake, and I'm going to make my lemon pshkutsch. Um, I love to make pshkutsch here at home. Uh, this is something that I learned to make very young age. Uh, my mom made pshkutsch all the time. Uh, now, she has a recipe uh, that I've shared here on my channel, uh, which is a recipe for my mom's pshkutsch. Um, and they're Portuguese cookies. They're very crispy, they're very tasty, great to have at home. Um, they keep well in a tight sealed container, uh, at least for a couple of months. They don't last that long here, but today I'm gonna show you how to make my lemon pshkutsch. Uh, it has a lemon flavor, uh, it's delicious, and I'm gonna show you how to make my lemon pshkutsch step by step. So stay with me and let's get to baking. To make my lemon pshkutsch, we're gonna use one bowl to place all the ingredients. And I'm gonna start off with four cups of all-purpose flour. Now I wanna show you the measurement of the cup that I use for the flour. This is the cup that I use. It's 250 milliliters. So I'm placing four cups filled to the top and leveled and placing it into the bowl. And next I'm going to add one and three quarter cups of granulated sugar. And to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder, and next I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking ammonia. Now, if you wanna substitute it for baking soda, you can. If you're going to use substitute it for the baking soda, you're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda. Now I have all the dry ingredients in the bowl. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir just to combine all of the uh, dry ingredients. And then once it's combined, I'm gonna start adding the wet ingredients. I'm gonna start off by adding four eggs. Now the eggs are at room temperature. After adding my eggs, I'm gonna start placing the balance of the ingredients. I have half a cup of melted butter that's unsalted and how I melt my butter. So I melt the butter, then I pour it into the measuring cup, which is a half a cup. And once I measure the half a cup of melted butter, then I pour it into the mixture. And so that's how I melt the butter and measure the butter. Next, I'm going to add a third of a cup of vegetable oil. And to that, I'm going to add the main ingredient, which is our lemon, and I'm going to add the juice of one lemon. And to that, I'm going to add the zest of the same lemon. So you know what? I used up and utilized the whole lemon. So the zest of one lemon and the juice of one lemon. Now, all the ingredients are in there. That's it. All I need to do is form the dough. And for this step, I'm gonna use my hands to form the dough. I like to bring it together, feeling the texture of the dough. However, you can use your stand mixer if you prefer. But this dough comes together fairly quickly, so within three to four minutes, your cookie dough for the pshkutsch will be ready. Now I'm gonna continue bringing the dough together, and I'll show you what it looks like once it's formed. Okay, the dough has come together. I've been kneading for about four minutes. This is a smaller recipe. So I'm going to just remove the dough out of my hands here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece as a test just to see if it holds firm. And what I'm doing here is just rolling it into a small log and it holds together perfectly. Now I used a small lemon for this recipe. Sometimes lemons can have a little more juice in it if you find that the dough is too soft, just add about a tablespoon of flour at a time and then mix it together until you have a firm dough that you're able to roll into a pshkut. Now before you start rolling your dough to form the pshkut, you wanna set it aside and let it rest for 30 minutes. Now after 30 minutes of letting the dough rest, you just wanna work the dough for about 30 seconds or so, just bring it together before you start rolling the dough to form the pshkutsch. And by letting the dough rest, you'll see that the dough has firmed up a little bit. And at this point, I'm ready to move on to the next step. Now for the next step, I'm gonna prepare the baking trays. I use round baking trays, you can use square ones. I'm gonna just spray all the baking trays with some baking spray so that way the pshkutsch don't stick. Or if you prefer, you can use parchment paper and place it on your baking tray to bake the pshkutsch. 
Now for the fun part and the final step, I'm going to take a piece of dough. I have a cutting board here. Find it really useful and easy to roll your pshkuch. And what I've started to do here is take a chunk of dough, roll it into a thicker log, and I start tearing the pieces of dough, roll it into a small ball, press it down slightly with one hand, and then stretch it out with two hands and form into a thinner log, just like this. And then I bring together the two end pieces, and just like that, your pshkut is formed. Now I'm gonna continue taking little pieces, forming the balls, rolling the pshkut, and placing them on the baking tray. Now you can make them as small or as big as you like. Normally they will fit anywhere from 14 to 15 pshkut on my baking tray. Now I'm placing the pshkut on the baking tray about two inches apart because they will expand in the oven while they're baking. Now this recipe normally makes about five to six dozen of pshkuch, depending how small or how big you roll them. Now here's my first tray of rolled pshkuch. I'm gonna continue rolling them and I'll show you what they look like when they're ready to go into the oven. Here are the trays of pshkuch ready to go into the oven. I have five trays of pshkuch. Now I'm gonna bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 12 to 14 minutes. I like mine a little lighter. If you like yours a little more well done, then you can leave them in the oven for an additional two to three minutes. Now I'm gonna give you my mom's tip. When you place the pshkuch in the oven, you put the first tray in the bottom. Then after four minutes, you place it in the middle. And then after another four minutes, you place it on the top. That way you get them cooked all the way through in a nice brown color right on the top. Again, if you want them a little more golden brown, just leave them in the oven for an additional two to three minutes. And here is my first tray of pshkuch out of the oven. Perfect color on the top. They're nicely cooked through. They're perfect and they're nice and hot. So if you like hot pshkuch, this is when you eat them. So I'm gonna just remove them out of the tray, place them on the tablecloth and let them cool. I'm gonna just sort them out on the tablecloth. Um, I'm gonna show you what one looks like when you break into it. They're so tasty, crispy. Mm, look at that, so tempting. I would have them right now when it's hot, but I gotta continue baking. Oh, I can't resist. The pshkuch have cooled and they're ready to be served. Delicious, crunchy, tasty, oh, and so addictive. Give this recipe a try, you won't be disappointed. And there you have it everyone. That's how I make my lemon pshkuch. I love making pshkuch. Uh, it's something, like I said, I started making when I was very young uh, with my mom. Um, I used to, even though she didn't want me to help because she likes her pshkuch very perfect, uh, well, practice makes perfect, and um, I've learned how to make them like she does. I wouldn't say exactly, but I'm really close, and it's taken years of experience. But you know what? They don't have to be perfect. Um, they taste so good, and a nice cup of coffee goes great with them. They're so addictive. Now, you can just serve them in the little platter, just like this, um, but now to keep them nice and fresh. My mom uh, used to keep the uh, pshkoich in a tight sealed container. So what I've done is just place them in a container and I just want to show you. So all I did is place them in a container just like this. You know, seal them and as you need them, take them. Um, they won't last that long but they can last up to at least two months in this tight sealed container. They're very delicious. I hope you enjoy the recipe for my lemon pshkuch. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Take care, everyone. Mm. Crispy, delicious. All I need is a coffee.